loves is Yuli. And as I always say, I'm a salesperson, but I'm also someone who enjoys helping my peers, my fellow business owners. Now, I never refer to our shops as a small business. Anyone that runs their own business knows there is nothing small about the work that we do. A better name is a one person hustling 24 seven business, but I digress. Today, I'm working to help those wondering if registering their business as a woman owned business or a minority owned business or both is actually worth the time and trouble. My little opinion is yes, it is. And here's why. Many companies or platforms such as Amazon, Target, or others, there's a number of them, they allow us to apply to sell our items on their platform and wants to prove our items show up on these platforms in the general store for sale. However, some of these platforms also have an area or certain times of the year where they highlight woman-owned businesses or minority-owned businesses or both. And if you're registered already, then you're highlighted in both areas, exposing your brand to many additional potential customers. That's a win-win, right? That's never a bad thing. <laughs> now, getting registered is another thing. Now, I thought all I had to do was show my face and say, hey, y'all, I'm a woman and I'm African-American. I qualify, right? See? No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> There is a process to prove, to show that you actually qualify for each agency. And each agency has their own requirements. Now, I'm not an expert in this area. I'm only sharing from my own personal experience. And I'll try below to show some of the names of the companies that you may be able to use to get your business registered. And that's it. Just wanted to share this. So much success, ladies. Take care, loves. And until next time, bye.